you all know the the Marshall saga with the JCM 2000 series, don't you? How the board itself becomes conductive. The only solution is to replace the board. There's people that claim that they've um, got a fix for it, but uh, you know they take your money and then the fix works for three months and then it's out of warranty and then it stops working and they've got your money and now you can't do anything about it. So Marshall knew that there was only one true fix for it, so they kept manufacturing the boards for a long time. Uh, up until six months ago or so, they were manufacturing them. You could buy them even from retail places like CE Distribution or whatever their public retail non-wholesale outlet is or you could get it directly from Marshall but they've stopped producing it so now like you know yeah fair enough because um, it's a really old amp but not fair enough in that it should have been a f***ing recall from day one yeah it was very dishonest on their behalf Marshall knew that it was an issue and the only proper way to resolve the issue was uh, with replacing the whole board because the board substrate itself becomes conductive it starts where the hottest area is so the output valves but then it's like cancer it's dendrites spread throughout the fiberglass resin over time so even if you don't um have the bias drift issue because you've drilled out the uh the holes and all that shit and flown wires above like power lines above your friggin board um that can work for a while but eventually it starts leaking to other lines i've even seen it affect the channel switching i've seen heater hum actually leak into the signal lines uh and the only the only reason for it is the board's so conductive that even the 6.3 volts or whatever is making its way to the signal lines um so the only true solution for it is to replace it with a, a higher quality board and um here she is i spent a while designing this one and this was also an exercise to just get better at KiCad. my board designs are becoming more and more complex with more and more different things going on uh so this is you know it's for your marshall champions for your marshall fym 2000 so i haven't used their names anywhere or model numbers but we all know what it is we all know why we need it two channel 100 watt version three channel 100 watt version it's the same circuit board for both uh but i've got a graph which i can show you so here's the bill of materials now you'll notice there's two columns or two sets of columns you've got your dsl 100 there and tsl 100 here now i've highlighted any lines that are different per model uh, so long story short same pcb for two models different populations for each model uh, and this this goes into detail on that i'm eventually going to go through and put all the uh the manufacturer codes of all the parts and possibly a link to like a mouser product and then I'm going to complete a Mouser shopping cart. And um, you'll be able to just buy the shopping cart per board. So if you buy the bare board, and I'm only going to sell them to techs that I trust because I don't want to deal with support issues from new noobs trying to figure out how to solder shit and telling me that I've made the product wrong when they don't know how to build it or install it. I haven't got time for that shit. Um, so it's going to be, if, if I don't know you, you get a fully populated board and instructions and a video tutorial on how to basically install it and test it and bias your amp uh and if you're a manufacturer you just you can buy a stack of the bare boards 10 boards or whatever for a cheaper price and you can assemble them as you need them or um or do whatever you want with them hang them on the wall resell them i don't care um but point being you'll have all the parts that i know fit and no work and quality stuff and you'll be able to just buy fill your shopping cart with enough to build one board and multiply that shopping cart if you need to build multiple boards so that'll be cool. Also, you've got the connector map on here. So you've got your main PCB connector to the connector. So if, if you do uh, disconnect them all and don't have written down what goes to what, little bits of tape on the wire or whatever, um, you've got a map here of exactly how to connect everything to connect everything for the DSL and the TSL. Cool, but having a look at the, the circuit board over here, I've moved the... I've kept the original bias connector with uh, the bias pots and shit on the back just because it is going to be a drop-in one for one replacement there is the option down the road i could modify this i've already got the map and there could be aftermarket mods like you know hot rod options and tone sweetening shit and maybe put the trim pots like get rid of this cutout put the trim pots directly on here and fix the bias circuit which is a bit stupid on the uh the stock version one side affects the other and whatnot uh, there's options to do that down the road, but first I just wanted a direct one-for-one one replacement, which is what this is. Uh, so we'll just have a look at the 3D 3D viewer. So here's the finished product, what it'll sort of look like. 
Um, you've got all the same uh, JST style, well, JST brand EH series connectors, so it'll fit with your original wires, and uh, everything lines up with the original fixing points. I've gone again with the wave soldering belt and sockets, which uh, you know you probably could reuse the originals if they're not burnt. Um, but yeah, the rest of the parts are, are going to be separate to this unit. The relay is a different layout. I, I basically chose parts that there's a shitload of. Like if if I might have found the original part that Marshall used, and there may be I don't know 50 in stock or something, but I chose whatever had like. 500,000 in stock instead, something that I know is going to have a long uh, service life, a uh, long uh, life cycle, blah blah blah, and put things like isolation slots in the, in the, uh, the sockets. Uh, we've got flyback diodes on there, uh, if you have a look at the, let's have a look at the top view. Alright, so that's the board itself, let's turn off the silk screen as well. So that's the traces, you can see there's a big fat trace here running for the heaters up to the rectifier for the uh, DC heaters for the first four triodes. If you have a look on the other side, there's a perfectly corresponding, I won't say trace, it's an infill. So a big fat cross section, it's going to be two ounce copper as well, gold plated contacts uh, running to all the way to the uh, rectifier which is there. And also on your ground plane over the other side, that's another fill zone just to get as much surface area as we could and then it ends up slightly smaller down the preamp end. So yeah, that's the idea. We've got prototypes on order already. Uh, they're halfway through production, should get shipped within the next day or two. Probably take, I don't know, up to a week to get here. I've got a TSL one, uh, 100 head, which is gonna be the test bed, just to make sure everything's cool. I'm gonna test initially probably every one of them in the first couple of batches, um, just to make sure everything's right. I wanna make sure 100% that everything works before it goes out. Uh, and then I'm trying to track down a DSL 100 head. Um, so if you know anyone that's moving one on, yeah, let me know because I want to buy one uh, and have it to uh, to do proper testing. Oh, road rage. <laughs> Love hearing road rage out there. It's so funny.